the birch has earned the same respect in local life. In the prayers of the Lykovs, probably, there was no place for her. In the taiga there is as much birch as you like, overlooked. The birch forest grows in the garden. But how much did this tree give to a man imprisoned by fate in the forest? And above all, the Lykovs' birch put on shoes. Linden does not grow in these places, and the Lykovs could not have shoes woven from bast. Something like galoshes was sewn from birch bark. The shoes were heavy and rude. They stuffed it to create warmth and comfort for the leg with the same dried marsh grass. Galoshes served at any time of the year, although what kind of footwear was there when the snow was one and a half meters thick? Only when Dimitri grew up and learned to catch animals, and the eldest, Savi, and mastered the skill of leather dressing, did the Lykovs begin to sew something like boots for themselves. For some reason the geologists were impressed by the birch bark galoshes most of all, and they stole them all as a keepsake, leaving in place of Lykov boots, felt boots and boots, but the main purpose of birch bark is dishes. Here the Lykovs had nothing to invent. Their ancestors everywhere in the forests made famous to Issa. Excellent dishes for everything, for bulk substances, for salt, berries, water, cottage cheese, milk. And everything does not deteriorate, does not heat up, is not wasted by the mouse. The dishes are light, beautiful and comfortable. At the Lykovs, I counted four dozen birch bark products, a tub the size of a barrel and a mayonnaise jar, boxes as huge as trunks, and from a gaffia's fist. Put all kinds of trifles. Birch bark at the Lykovs washstand. They were presented with a tin one, observing how often they washed their fingers, but the Lykovs shoved this factory appliance under the roof and still keep it in the birch bark hut. Here and there in the Lykovs farm there are blanks. Large sheets of birch bark, steam them and make whatever you want from this material. When the only bucket leaked out and plugging the hole with a rag no longer had an effect, Dimitri made a tolerable sieve for nuts from the bucket tin and attached an iron shackle to the birch bark bucket. It still serves today. It was with this bucket that Agafia and his father carried water to the forest fire. One weakness in birch bark dishes is that they cannot be put on fire. You can warm water, and it's good. By dipping hot stones into the dish. But you can't put the twos in the oven. And this was a very bottleneck in the kitchenware industry. The Lykovs took several cast iron pots from the hut. But the cast iron is fragile, and by the time of the geologist's arrival, the eternal dish was numbered by two cast iron, the safety of which was protected by prayer. Now Agafu is rattling with might and main with mugs, pots and bowls made of wonderful iron. Made of aluminum. But the old tried. And. True iron pot in her wretched household, as an honored veteran, stands in the most honorable place. Agafu cooks rye porridge in it. There are many wooden hollowed. Out dishes in the household. I counted more than 10 small and large greeters. It is curious that bread, potato soup, before the appearance of aluminum bowls and cups was eaten from a common small trough with homemade spoons with long cuttings. I ask you to share these videos in your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. I ask you to go and watch other videos about Agafia Lakova, which you now see on the screen in the end screensavers.